Hello and welcome back to Shelf 2, Week 2 of showing off my collection. We're going to start with the Proud Arab Mares. This is one of the few models that I gave in and bought online because she was on my want list forever and 20 years and I finally gave up when one came available and spent too much money. This is the Proud Arabian Mare in dapple gray and she was only produced with this box and this halter for two years, 1972 and 73. It might have even been one year. It might have only been 72. And is extremely rare. I love the box, love the artwork on the box. The horse in this case is not worth the money. The box and the halter are. The halters were made by hobby guru Marnie Walorius. She is a founder of the hobby and big name. Um, she made all of the halters, so the story goes for this run. So there weren't a ton of them made, and they are awesome, and I am very happy to finally have one in my collection. Wanted that one for a long time. This is La Jolla. She is from the Briar Passage to the Pacific event in San Diego. I keep her in a little um, blanket because she's kind of matte and a little fragile for paint. They only made a very small number of these. I won't quote, but maybe 50, maybe fewer. Love the Proud Arab Mare. She's gorgeous in that color and um, very happy to have gone to that event. It was a lot of fun. Next, we have a Congress uh, Chestnut Proud Arab Mare. I bought her from Nancy Young at her, um, her dispersal when she was getting out of the hobby. Um, and I think they were made in 1985-ish and only a few were made because the hobby wasn't near as big back then as it is nowadays. So happy to have her in the collection as a piece of hobby history. Then we have the Black Point Proud Arab Mare in dapple gray. You'll see, I'll show you a little when we get to the Proud Arab Full, um, but you can see she has a black mane and tail and black legs as opposed to, oh, here we go, right here. This is the regular dapple gray and then the black point dapple gray. The black point dapple gray was only made for about six months. Very rare and hard to come by and she has what's called the halo dappling where the splattering that made those dapples um, is kind of lighter around the dapple. It's a really cool effect and she's really, really pretty. I found her, oh, at an antique show, at an antique show over in California. And then finally, this is um, a gorgeous horse. She is the or old mold proud Arab mare in glossy bay. And actually this is kind of a glossy chestnut because she doesn't have a lot of black to her mane and tail. Found her in an antique store and she is in almost mint condition with the eye whites. Just a really, really pretty horse. Um, and they show very well too because she has such good conformation. Next, we'll go on to the Lady Phases. First, we have Night Deck. This was a special run for Karen Grimm and Black Horse Ranch. Um, and I'll have Night Vision a little later, her foal. And then we have, um, I don't remember what the name of these guys was, uh, what Briar did to sort of refresh the Lady Phase mold because she started to lose a lot of detail over the years. Um, they changed her tail. So she has a short tail. That's why I keep all three of these. This gal has a long tail. They made about 300, 350 of them for an internet. I think they were a treasure hunt kind of thing where they had three different colors. And then this gal, this is Smokin' Hot Chick. She is a Quarter Horse Congress special run from 2010, Quarter Fest. And she has the swish tail. So Lady Faze has three different tail variations, which is kind of fun. So that's why I keep all three of those. Next, we go on to Western Prancers. The Western Prancer is one of my favorite molds. Yeah, I just think he's adorable. The first one here is a um, chalky Palomino that I got from the Black Horse Ranch collection at Briarfest last year or the year before. And um, so they come with little Black Horse Ranch cards. Then I have the uh, probably the most rare of the original colors for this guy. This is the black and white Pinto of the Western Prancer. You need to get a saddle for him. I won't pull out the next two guys. It's just a regular um, chestnut and then a regular kind of Appaloosa. Um, but I have these little Hong Kong guys that go with them. I love this mold and I love these little Hong Kong guys. They're just totally adorable. So I need to get the black and white. I think I've seen 
the black and white and the Palomino Hong Kong. So I need to get those so that I can have a complete set of originals and copies. But he's really cute. This was one of my first show horses back in the early, early 90s when I started showing. Then we have a chalky Indian pony. I don't know, oh, you probably can't see her chalkiness and she's hard to pull out, so she'll stay there. Um, next I have, oh, this one's funny. This is a uh, alabaster Indian pony with war paint. She has a little bit of war paint on that side, a little bit of war paint on that side. Got her at an antique store over in California and um, someday eventually we'll make it to the other horse that I bought from the antique store that day. I was most excited about her, but it turns out that the other horse that I bought that day was more rare and valuable. So we'll make it there. It'll be a very long time because it's over in the China cabinets. Then we have a Briar Fest special run. I think this one's called Totsi. I don't know all of their names, but she's um, a base coat chalky glossy. Really pretty color. I think they did a nice job on that one. And then um, the buckskin Indian pony with war paint. So there's war paint. There's a sun on that side and a couple of dots and then a couple more dots on this side. I found that one in an antique store and it's been so long I don't remember where he came from but um, kind of reaching the end of my rope here so I will move on to the next shelf next week. Thanks and talk to you later.